click on your sequence to open the right-hand panel. In the Details tab, you'll see the sequence description and an overview of the statistics. You can also enroll recipients, edit your sequence, change the name, description, owner, etc., copy the sequence, or delete it. You can copy and paste email addresses or search for records to add as recipients. You can see a list of recipients enrolled in the sequence and can unroll, search for a specific record, or filter the list. The activity log lists each time the sequence is triggered and shows if the run was successful or not. You can download log to output the log to a zip file. Click the Show Full Statistics to open up a full report on your sequence. This is a summary of data from the whole sequence, including the total number enrolled in open, clicked, replied, bounced, unsubscribed rates, and number of created tasks. These break down the statistics by steps of the sequence. You can choose to reset the step statistics at any time. Choose your timeline to view statistics by date range. You can also access the statistics when editing your sequence. Pipeliner users can enroll individual recipients into a sequence by using the Email Sequences widget within an open record. Multiple recipients can also be enrolled, for example, from the List view by selecting them and then using the Email Sequences option. You can select records by clicking Individual Records or by using a filter and then selecting All. Choose Enroll, and available email sequences will be displayed for your users to select from. You can enroll recipients into the email sequence as part of an automatizer process. Recipients can be unenrolled individually or in bulk from the Currently Enrolled tab for a selected sequence in the Email Sequences list view. You can also filter to identify batches of recipients to unenroll. Plus, the owner of the sequence will review error messages if applicable. These will include problems sending to email addresses, as well as more general warnings where, for example, the period for a sequence to run has elapsed for the day and the email will be sent tomorrow. Additional learning resources can be found in our Knowledge Base and on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or would like more information, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at pipelinersales.com. Please make sure you share this video with everyone in your organization who uses Pipeliner CRM so we can help them succeed too. We welcome your feedback and suggestions for adding to or improving our Academy resources. Please email academy at pipelinersales.com with any suggestions. 